just, just, Jeff, just, just turn your, just turn your body that way. And come in, just, just once, half a step. That's it. You're there. Okay, mate, go for it. Hills Footy Flicks return to Iron Bank Oval today for the big clash between Iron Bank and Birdwood. Top five game. So plenty was on the line, and one guy who stood up pretty well today from the Owen Bank Football Club, Daniel Desengo. Daniel, thanks for joining us. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Now, obviously, the coach stressed before the game the importance of this game, and uh, right from the outset, it seemed like yourself playing up forward, you were really uh, ready for a big game. Yeah, yeah, I was looking forward to it. Um, I think we are in good form and a bit of momentum, so, yeah, it was good to spend a bit of time up there. Um, and uh, yeah, kick a few goals. And certainly when the game was there to be won in the early stages in the first half, you were certainly a standard six goals in the first half, and including a couple of really big flying marks, mate. So you must be pretty happy with your own form. Yeah, yeah, I was really happy with my game today. So yeah, that was good. But um, credit to the boys bringing up the middle as well. Um, you know, you can't win games unless you win it in the middle and in the back line as well. So you're a bit of a swing man for the Thunderers. You, you play defensive and obviously you play forward with pretty much a plum. What's your favourite spot? Um, yeah, I don't mind forward, centre half back's good as well, but um, yeah, as a junior my favourite position was half back flank, believe it or not. So. <laughs> and you had the situation today, you'd kick six goals, you're on five, you think oh, I've got a bag of ten coming up, and next minute you're down the fence. Forward flank, kicking towards that good hill road, so Iron back will bring the ball back into play. For the agency of descent guy, I think he's probably kicked too many goals, have him back into fence goal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Variety of uh, depth that they've got. So ball camped here, right and half back. Reese Van Paradon with the ball across the fence. He opts to come short to brother Joel. Van Paradon boys just playing keepsies. So Joel Van Paradon right in front of us. It'd be pretty dark if you're Descendo, wouldn't you? Kick six goals and get dragged up the fence. Anyway, ball down the uh, forward door. Comes down here, taking off hands. Swinging tackle there by on Jack Beard. So how'd you feel about that? Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, I think due to the wet weather, it was more of a game match for people that were quicker underfoot, which isn't me. So I um, understood the coach's decision there. And um, yeah, it made sense. And judging by the last quarter, we kicked a lot of goals from a, a lot of the little fellas underfoot. So that was good. And just the Thunderers, after round four, you didn't have a point on the board. You'd lost three in a row and you had the bye. And from then, I think now you've put together eight wins in a row. It'd just be just be that much confidence in the side and you're building towards something special. You got that feeling here? Yeah, definitely. We got a, a really high team spirit about us, and um, yeah, I think um, yeah, we're a really good team. We all got obviously everyone's got a lot of talent, and we get along with each other well. So team morale is very high at the moment, which is good. And just that willingness to work for each other it just uh, showed out today in difficult conditions, particularly. Uh, after half time when the rain set in, but also in the last quarter when you rattled on nine goals, that must have been just a, a great thing to be out there. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, it was crazy. Um, you know, the incredible goals that you would see in dry weather, we were doing wet weather, which was pretty good. So credit to those guys and those changes that we made as well. Great game on Australian rules football here tonight. Comes down to Newell, his kick is smothered. Oh, Take it there by Oakley. Good smother again, Newell, and goes and gets it again. Newell back in a two, three efforts by the Iron Bank captain. Desperate footy. Wills the ball forward. Watton leading in the race. Desperate. Oh, can he control it? Yes, he does. Tommy Watton with a fly on his I first tell one. you what! I tell you what! That is a magnificent reply. That's as good as the goal. We just saw from Jock McClay at the other end. And Tommy Watton. Take a bow, young man. Superb work. And Some of the best goals in the most atrocious conditions here at Iron Bank over with Pistol. I'll tell you what, Goldie, you've got to pay credit to uh, Will Hill. Yeah, you know, second, third assistant, effort. Assistant third, second, third effort. So can move the ball forward and grab by young White and found a little bit of space. Yeah. And just curled it back magnificently at the Ackland Hill Road at King Wells. Fantastic. End and as you said, it was a great team performance, but uh, the broadcast team today uh, decided the cheapest tips, most valuable player. That certainly your performance in kicking six goals was right up there. So Daniel, uh, all the best from Hills Footy Flicks and uh, well done. Cool, thanks Jeff. Cheers. So he's coming a bit to young fella. So it sets it up again. That's Wait better. Moster had a swing in mid-air. Missed everything as the ball comes into the Joel Van Paren and hooks it around his body towards the top of the square. I tell you what, getting oh, back good there. Diving, That's a good diving mark, mark. Taken there. Looks like that man again to send go. And I tell you what, Daniel Desengo having a laugh now. has already got five on the board, Goldie. Yep, you're right. So Daniel Desengo. Left footer. Probably from about 10 metres out here. So Eklund Hill and at goals. Except on his way. Point Blank Rangers is going to sit at an angle, but uh, no miss there. So at the two minute mark, Daniel Desengo. 
given a, uh, a flying start in the third quarter to the home team. Just stretched their margin out to three straight kicks. Going as they move on to nine, nine, leading the Roosters second goal three. Yep, two inside 50s for Ironbank to start the uh, second turn inside two minutes. One centre clearance and the goal there for Daniel Good work by uh, Joel Van Pan, who's been pretty handy today. The former Matt Lofty Premiership player and just killed that body, ball around his body at centre half forward to the top of the square. And Desengo did the rest with a uh, pretty good diving mark in the end. That's the range sort of starting to get a little bit heavier here after this goal. Lights are on. Milton in the middle. Sherwood's in there. 